All right, you're scuba diving in the ocean, watching corals and colorful fish flitting by, when suddenly an enormous shadow appears above you. You look up and see a massive creature approaching you, its mouth a gaping abyss. Relax, just stay still and you'll be fine. This leviathan is a basking shark, one of the scary sea monsters that isn't really capable of doing harm to anyone. Basking sharks are filter feeders, just like baleen whales. They open their large mouths to swallow plankton and don't even have teeth. It's late night in the Central American jungle. You're out in the wild to watch birds and you hear flapping of wings. Excited, you look intently into your night vision goggles only to see a face out of your worst nightmares. Ah, don't scream, you'll scare it away. It's a perfectly harmless, wrinkle-faced bat, and it isn't interested in you. These are fruit bats, and wrinkles on their faces allow them to collect fruit pieces and juice for later snacks. By the way, their Latin name, Centurocenex, was given to them for their semblance to 100-year-old humans. Walking around at Nepali National Park and deciding to wash your face in the river nearby, you freeze in terror. A crocodile is looking straight at you from no more than a few feet's distance. Then it raises its snout above the water and you exhale in relief. It's a gharial. These reptiles have long and narrow snouts that allow them to efficiently catch fish and at the same time prohibiting them from hunting any other prey. While still carnivores, gharials are pretty shy and will slither away at the sight of humans. Right now, there are no more than a thousand of these crocodilians in the whole world. So let it go. Especially if it's a girl (laughs) gharial. You dig your garden in the backyard and notice something moving on your shovel. You take a closer look and drop the tool in horror. A small creature looking like a hostile alien is scurrying away into some burrow in the ground. Eh, no worries. It's just a star-nosed mole. These critters have peculiar snouts that look like they've been blown up from within. Their eyes are small and weak, so the star on their nose helps them a lot to move around and seek food. It's always on the move, touching everything it can reach as if the tendrils were tiny fingers. Oh, you're bathing in the ocean again. Well, look to your right. There's a real tooth shark going right at you. Nah, don't panic. It's just a sand tiger shark. Neither a sand nor a tiger one. It's a vulnerable fish-eating shark that slowly swims in the seas and chases its prey from time to time. There have been no reports of it ever attacking humans. But it still has rows of sharp teeth. So don't try to touch it just in case. It may seem placid, but you don't want it to get a bite out of you, do you? Okay, from ocean to desert, you're in Australia and longing for some water. You see a likely spot and start digging the ground only to stumble upon a creature straight from the depths of neither, all covered in thorns. It eyes you suspiciously and slinks away because it's just a thorny devil. Despite its ominous name, this lizard is harmless to humans. Horn-like bumps on its skin are for protection from predators and birds of prey. The thorns are hard, but as long as you don't touch them, you're fine. Now, if you have arachnophobia, it won't calm you down. But tailless whip scorpions you might meet in North and South America, as well as Asia and Africa, are more afraid of you than you are of them. Eh, Tell yourself that. These nightmarish creatures don't have stingers and won't even bite when threatened. The worst they could do, and only if you corner them, why would you do that, is prick you with their front legs, leaving tiny puncture marks on your finger. Many people even keep them as pets, and they're quite affectionate toward their owners. Yeah. If you ever stumble upon a burrow from which a hairless, big-toothed creature is speaking at you, just don't mind it and let it be. Naked mole rats are the sphinx cats among rodents. They're close relatives of mole rats, but, well, naked. And they're fascinating in their own right, too, thanks to living entirely underground. They're almost totally cold-blooded, but can conform to any temperature outside. And their flappy, wrinkled skin doesn't feel any pain at all. 
So pins and prickles, as well as sharp teeth, don't scare naked mole rats. You're once again lost in the jungle, this time on Madagascar. Poor you. The night has fallen, and you seek shelter. But when you think you've found a suitable tree to build a lean-to, you freeze in terror. A black, long-fingered hand appears on a tree branch right above you, and two huge yellow eyes are staring you down. Then you see a shaggy face and realize it's just a lemur. An eye-eye, more precisely. This creature is native to Madagascar and only goes out at night, so you're lucky to see it. It fulfills a role of a woodpecker in tropical forests. It knocks on tree trunks to find bugs and uses its long, wizened fingers to reach inside. Tired of being scared, you seek your way home, but your horrors aren't over yet. There's a big red and white snake across your path. It hisses and lies in wait for you to move. You know it's a coral snake, a really dangerous, venomous kind. You stop in your tracks, and only when it finally slithers away, you realize it was actually a milk snake. They often mimic venomous ones, not only coral snakes, to protect themselves from predators. Still, if you're not a snake expert, it's always best to stay away. Okay, this creature will infest your darkest dreams. A giant African millipede. It's big, it's glossy black, and it has hundreds of tiny crawly legs. And yet, if it had googly eyes, it could even be cute. Perhaps that's why so many people keep them as pets. That, and because they commonly live up to 10 years. Giant millipedes can't really bite. Their only defense is curling into a tight ball and secreting irritating liquid from the pores of its skin. If you dare touch it, don't rub your eyes or nose afterwards. It's quite unpleasant. Goliath Bird Eater is another popular pet creepy crawler. It isn't dangerous for humans, despite it looking like your worst nightmare. This is one of the largest spiders in the world, and as its name implies, it sometimes hunts small birds for food. But they aren't part of its regular diet. The spider prefers worms and amphibians. Make sure you don't frighten it, though. It can still bite or release hairs in self-defense. The bite is similar to a wasp sting, and hairs can cause severe irritation on your skin. But mostly, this gentle giant is just shy and will crawl away at the sight of you. Oh dear, there's another snake approaching you, and fast! You're about to turn and run when you see a hulking eight-legged form cutting into the snake's path and leaping on it. It's another arachnid, and it looks even more terrifying than the snake. It's a camel spider. Not really a spider, nor a scorpion. These creatures belong to a separate family. They became the stuff of many urban legends, but in fact, they don't even have any venom. Sure, they can bite, and their jaws are pretty powerful, but camel spiders can't do much more to a human than just bite. They hide in the sand and burrow to leap on unsuspecting lizards, invertebrates, and yes, even snakes. And now, picture a pill bug. Not exactly a beauty, but since it's small, it's okay. But what if it were 10 times as large? No, definitely not okay. Still, such a creature exists, and it's a giant isopod. Thankfully, it lurks in deep, dark, and cold waters, so it won't ever come up in your backyard. Giant isopods grow to such enormous size because of something called deep-sea gigantism. Deep-dwelling creatures have to endure great pressure of water, extreme cold temperatures, and scarce food, so their metabolism slows down. Isopods don't move much, and more often than not, just lie in wait until some poor small bug or crustacean crawls within their reach and they can munch on it. And though it looks like a many-legged chaos from below, a giant isopod can hurt you even if it wanted to. Just pet it already. As for the top boss in the waters of South America, that would be the green anaconda. Not even jaguars and caiman are safe around the biggest snake in the world. The murky waters of riverbanks camouflage the giant snake perfectly. They go unnoticed, sitting there waiting for something to come have a drink. And then, whoosh, the snake strikes. 
it uses its sharp curved teeth and 15 feet of pure muscle to hold its lunch in place. Luckily for most animals, after eating their fill, anacondas can go weeks or even months without worrying about their next meal. But the world's biggest snake isn't the most dangerous. That title belongs to the black mamba. Lions, spotted hyenas, giraffes, and even elephants will avoid the mamba at all costs. They all know one bite can stop them very quickly. Growing up to 14 feet, it's the second longest venomous snake in the world after the king cobra. The African black mamba does hold the top spot as the world's fastest snake. It slithers along going 12 miles per hour. That's about where most treadmills max out. Not top dog, but worth a mention, is the green anaconda's neighbor, the electric eel. Very few animals are willing to take on such a highly charged creature. Electric eels have around 6,000 special cells that can produce up to 800 volts of electricity. That's more than six times the standard U.S. wall socket. That's enough to knock a horse off its feet and to power holiday lights. In 2019, a Tennessee aquarium hooked some tree lights up to their eel tank. Every time the eel shot the water, the trees lit up. Now, it's been said that the electric eel can recycle its volts in a process called revolting. Nah, I made that up. One more truthful eel fact to knock you off your feet. Electric eels are air breathers. They have to surface about every 10 minutes to fill their mouth with air. Yep, their single lung is in their mouth. Does the king of the jungle reign unchallenged? In books and movies, sure. In real life, eh, not so much. For one, their home is on the African plains, not the jungle. A whole assortment of contenders, like hyenas, leopards, and crocodiles, are always trying to take the king's crown. Even zebras and giraffes can stop the big cats with a quick kick if they're cornered. If we go by bite force, the African Nile crocodile has the biggest that humanity has ever measured. Its jaws are five times more powerful than that of a lion's. Now earlier, with the water critters, all you had to do was avoid the water. Good luck avoiding a lion! They can run 50 miles per hour, jump the length of a school bus, and climb trees. The lion's biggest challenger for the apex role is the African wild dog. These two are constantly going at it because they hunt for the same food in the same area. Where there's a big pride of lions, the dogs have no choice but to flee. But they've got one thing against the cats. Endurance. Lions might reach incredible speeds, but that's only in short bursts. It takes too much energy to carry 400-plus pounds of muscle over long distances while going as fast as you can. African wild dogs, though, have long, slender legs and big lungs for their body size. Meaning, they can run fast and keep it up for miles. That's how they hunt. Their lunch just gets tired of running. There's one animal brave enough to take on the king if the cat gets too curious. The hippo. They may seem cute and squishy. But hippos are one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Based on statistics, you should fear them way more than great white sharks. And there's nothing squishy about them. Hippos are pure muscle and weigh as much as a car. Their pointy canine teeth can grow longer than your forearm. These guys aren't afraid of anything. Even lions and crocodiles prefer to keep their distance. Their name means water horse. And they do spend up to 16 hours a day submerged. Funny thing is, hippos can't really swim. If you see one swimming, it's actually pushing itself off the lake or river bottom. It can still beat even the best Olympic swimmer speed, so watch out! Yep, move aside, Leo! Hippos are the true apex animal of Africa. But I wouldn't get close enough to give them the award. As for the ruler of the forest, make way for the grizzly bear. Weighing over half a ton, you'd be mistaken thinking these large fluff balls are slow and bumbling. Being able to maintain a speed of 25 miles per hour for long stretches is too easy for the behemoth brown bear. Uphill, downhill, and on every terrain, they're the off-road SUV of the animal world. Without having any natural enemies, 
this bear is at the top of its local food chain. Good thing they sleep for a third of the year. Just hope you don't run into a grizzly, um, ever. But especially right before it's about to go into hibernation. They spend the autumn months fattening up for winter. And they're even hungrier than usual. Now, being the largest bird of prey in North America, it's no wonder the golden eagle is found all over the continent in woodlands and mountain ranges. Their wingspan is nearly 8 feet. And they don't call it eagle vision for nothing. These birds can spot a rabbit from 3 miles up in the air. It'd be like you seeing an ant while standing on top of a 10-story building. Golden eagles can also make quick dives from a great height. During these dives, they can reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour, as fast as a flying arrow. And they're off! The Nile crocodile easily outswims the hippo. They're swimming upstream against a heavy current. But the croc's body is built for swimming through rough water. It weighs as much as two refrigerator freezers and is thought to be the heaviest reptile on Earth. It can swim up to 22 miles per hour. The hippo can't swim. Not really. It just walks on the bottom of the river and pushes off from any big rock it finds. It can close its nostrils whenever it wants to be able to glide a bit through the water, but it's no match for the croc. The croc reaches the shore and starts running through a field. But better make way. The hippo's catching up. It's speeding across the flat terrain. Even though it's huge, the hippo can outsprint a human. The croc was miles ahead, but the hippo's faster on foot. The hippo breaks through the ribbon. It's all over! Beep, beep! Hey there, Roadrunner! What you running from? Wait, hold everything. That coyote is catching up fast. He's right on your tail. The greater Roadrunner can run up to 20 miles per hour, even faster when it's really hungry. Despite what you see in cartoons, a coyote is actually twice as fast as a Roadrunner. But the cartoon version is way funnier. In lane 1, from the dense jungles of South America, the ever-slow sloth. And right underneath him, in lane 2, we have a typical garden snail. And the race is on for the slowest animal on Earth. With the sloth's top speed clocking in at 0.2 miles per hour, it's no wonder they call it a giant moving pillow. Well, I call them that. The snail is off to a good start. It can cover a small neighborhood in about an hour. This boneless creature has only one foot, which is covered in protective slime. It's too blurry to see, but I think the sloth is still in the same spot. And now it's asleep. It'll probably be asleep through the whole race. A sloth can snooze it up for 15 hours a day. It's asleep for more than half of its life. And look, the snail got out of that sunny patch. Next stop, a shady patch. Ooh, it's too close to call. We'll have to wait till the sloth wakes up to get back to this race. A grizzly bear can easily outrun a human. If you're at a picnic and you cook up something a little too yummy, better leave your lunch behind. The fastest a human can sprint is 28 miles per hour, set, of course, by Usain Bolt. So he'd probably be able to run away in time. If you're slower than him, which you are, then you're in trouble. In a one-on-one sprint between a human and a grizzly bear, you're going to be the bear's lunch every time. But out of all the bears, which one's the fastest? Polar bears, grizzly bears, brown bears, sun bears, and the cute cuddly panda bear. On your marks, get set, go! The tension is palpable. The grizzly and the brown bear are claw to claw. A brown bear can easily run as fast as a grizzly. The sun bear is the smallest bear in the race. It's about 6 feet long, or tall, or whatever. It just can't keep up. The polar bear got off to a great start, but it just doesn't have the speed of the grizzly or brown bear. Grizzly takes the lead. No, it's the brown bear. Now grizzly. Wait, where's panda? What's it doing? I don't think it knows it's a race, but isn't it cute? It just finished its third bamboo stick. A panda bear can eat up to 28 pounds of bamboo a day. That's like a lot. But it's off. It found its shortcut and is rolling down that hill. It zooms past the grizzly and the brown bear. It's all over. Panda wins. Sorry, bears. We all know that the panda isn't exactly fast. It's actually one of the slowest bears. Still, if you see a panda rolling down the hill in your direction, run. 
A Boeing 747 has a top speed of around 620 miles per hour. The fastest bird is the gray-headed albatross. It can fly up to 80 miles per hour and stay up there for 10 hours without landing. The peregrine falcon is faster, but only when it's diving straight down to grab some takeout. Watch out, pigeon! Wow! Big planes take a long time to get up in the air, but the albatross? It's up and off in a few seconds. It's in the lead. But a few minutes later, back to Slowmoville. The sloth's awake. That's good. But so far, it's only managed to lift its arm to reach that tree branch. The garden snail's still trying to get past that big rock. Sloths spend a lot of their time as motionless as possible, so that they don't become someone else's breakfast. Not great training for a race. But hold on! Player 3 has entered the race. It's the Galapagos tortoise. Its powerful front legs carry this tank of an animal. It's a whopping four times faster than a garden snail. This just got interesting. We got ourselves the race that'll last a century. The tortoise is running and dodging every obstacle. Nothing can stop it. Hey, no cheating, sloth. Don't be dropping tree branches from up there. Deep underground, a mole's busy burrowing around. A mole can eat as many earthworms as his own body weight and can dig around 15 feet per hour. The American badger is the fastest digging animal in the world and is surprisingly fast on land. It can almost match the speed of a human on a good day. Head to head, the American badger wins the tunnel race pretty easily. Too bad the mole can't see where it's going. Moles aren't really blind. They just have terrible eyesight and they're colorblind. And they can't wear glasses down there. Ah, the proud cheetah. It's sprinting across the savanna at warp speed. I've been the fastest land mammal for millions of years. I got this. The fastest cheetah on record was a sprinter named Sarah. When she was 11, she ran the 100 meters in under 6 seconds. A cheetah can run up to 80 miles per hour if it sees something tasty. Sarah was raised in an American zoo and was one of the first cheetahs to have a puppy buddy when she was growing up. Alexa and Sarah, friends forever. But soaring above Sarah is a humble little bat. And that bat is making Sarah look slow. The Brazilian free-tailed bat can hit 100 miles per hour. It's the fastest mammal on the planet. Now, time for some shrinking. First of the blocks is the Australian tiger beetle. It charges forward at 6 miles per hour. It may not seem like much, but relative to its size, it's lightning fast. That's like a human running alongside a high-speed train. Running in the inside lane is the Saharan silver ant. Ants are team players and are strongest when they're working together. But even one ant can be amazingly strong. An ant can lift hundreds of times its own weight and can sprint like there's no tomorrow. Hussein Bull can hit four strides per second. This silver ant does 50. Scientists even discovered that these little ants like to gallop once they reach their top speed. Our last contender, the fastest animal on Earth. It's none other than this tiny mite. It's only the size of a sesame seed. If we go by body lengths per second, this microscopic animal outruns everything else on the planet. It's believed to run almost twice as fast as the tiger beetle. And if it were human size, it would run faster than the speed of sound. Um, let's get back to the crawlers. They finish yet? The tortoise is in the lead. The snail finally got past that large rock, and the sloth is on its way to branch number two. The tortoise is three feet away from the finish line. Wow, I just can't take much more of this excitement. But I think I have time for a latte. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.